Rule number two, if you want to think like a magician, banish the word impossible. Just don't use it. And don't listen to other people when they use the word impossible either. There are a lot of people who, when you go to tell them your dreams, will be in a big hurry to explain all the reasons they can't work. Well, magicians don't think that way. And we don't allow other people to impose their limitations on us. I want to tell you about the greatest card magician on the face of the earth. He's a man from Argentina, and his name is Rene Levand. Now, Rene Levand is not very well known in the United States, but to those people around the world who have witnessed his performances, this man is a legend. Here's the thing. Rene Levand only has one hand. He lost the other one when he was a kid in an accident. And yet this man can do more with one hand than most of us could do if we had three hands. And tonight, I want to share with you a piece of Rene Levand's magic. You'll be glad that he refused to listen when people told him that his dream of becoming a magician was impossible. This particular piece of magic involved the four aces. The aces are easy to keep track of, for those of you who are new to the card world, because they have little A's on them, and typically they have a design right in the middle. Levon would lean those aces up against the wall, or the fireplace maybe, and then he would deal out three indifferent cards onto the aces. That might be a new word to some of you, indifferent. What it means is that the identities of these cards doesn't make any difference to us. We don't really care which cards these are. We just want to make sure that uh, each ace has three of them. And actually, now that I think of it, since we don't care which cards they are, I guess we could face them the other way. That might make more sense. That way, we won't be distracted. Let's three indifferent cards, and we'll, we'll turn them around the other way. Then, the great Levon would take one of those aces, say the ace of spades, and its three indifferent cards, and he would set them off to the side somewhere. Tonight, we're going to set them in this little baggie, and I will need someone to help me. I wonder if there are any volunteers. Would you help me, please? Come on up here. What is your name? This is Katie, ladies and gentlemen. Give Katie a big round of applause. Why don't you stand right there, my dear? What grade are you in? And she's in the fourth grade. And what was the name of your team? Upward Stars. That was one of those great names I heard when I was waiting backstage. Now, Katie, your job is fairly simple. Hold on to those cards just like that. Hold them up against your chest so we can see them the whole time. I'll be back for you in just a second, all right? Then the games would begin. The great Levon would take one of the other aces. In this case, it's the ace of diamonds. He would mix it in with the other three aces. He would give it a magical shake through the air. And then he would show you those three indifferent cards. And he would bet you that you couldn't tell him what ace he's holding in his hand. Well. You know it can't be the ace of spades. She's holding the ace of spades. We know it can't be the ace of clubs, the one with the dog print on it. And we know it's not the ace of hearts. It's got to be the ace of diamonds. You would take that bet, and you would quickly <laughs> lose your money. Some of you wouldn't have lost your money. And then the great Levon would move on to the next ace, the ace of clubs, the one with the little dog print on it. And he would mix it in with the other three cards. And again, he would give it a mystical wave through the air. You're not sure what he was up to. You suspected he'd done something. And then he would show you those three indifferent cards. And then he would bet you that you couldn't tell him which ace he was holding. Well, you, you know darn well, you were watching closely, it's, it's got to be the ace of clubs, the one with the dog print on it. You don't think so? Well, you wouldn't have lost your money that time. You would have done great. Thank you. Thank you. Some of the adults are thinking, oh, I would have taken that bet. Well, by now, unless you're an exceptionally greedy person or an exceptionally bad gambler, you're not going to take any more bets 
from the great Levon. But you would watch in astonishment as that last ace, the ace of hearts, seemed to evaporate before your very eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But your mouth would drop open when you saw that the ace of spades, remember the ace of spades had been across the room the whole time, had now been joined by its three companions. That's the mystery of the giant aces. Thank you. Katie, Katie, my dear, thank you for your help. You did a wonderful job. Let's give it up for Katie. She was great. Good work. Nothing's impossible.